Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe my channel if you do not want to miss a single lecture of this series. Today we will discuss about dark field microscopy. Now, if you haven't gone through the previous lectures of microscopy series, I would strongly recommend you to have a look on them to understand these lectures clearly. Links are provided in the description box. So, dark field microscope is basically a type of light microscope. It produces a bright image on a dark background. Hence, the name is dark field. So, this is how it looks like. Okay. Bright image on dark background. The light path of a dark field microscope is similar to the ordinary light microscope that has a, a simple modification the light path consists of light source opaque disc condenser lens specimen objective lens and ocular lens so, you can see that the opaque disc is an extra part here. It is not found in bright field microscope. The opaque disc is placed between the light source and condenser lens. This disc blocks most of the light from the illuminator. Hence, it produces a hollow cone of light. This is the hollow cone of light. The only light that reaches the objective lens is light that has been refracted, reflected or scattered by the specimen. This one. Other lights that don't hit the sample are not passed through objective lens. So, these are unreflected light. They are passed around the objective lens. As a result, the image appears bright on a dark background. The advantages of using dark field microscope is it can be used for life and unstained sample. This is not possible in bright field microscope. Major limitations of using the microscope are low light levels are seen in the final image. The sample must be very strongly illuminated which can cause damage to the sample. Hope you understood the concept. If you liked my lesson, please do like, comment and share my video. Thank you.